Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers, a Legends mod on Legendary Difficulty as the Northern Raiders, as the wildly aggravated Northern Core of experienced Raiders, or lovingly known as the Wankers. Now my voice is a little bit better, I think you can all tell, it's not fully 100% yet, so I am still going to keep it a little bit easier for this episode, then by next episode we should be back to our regular scheduled broadcasting with a bit longer standard episodes again. But for this episode, we are going to jump neck deep into the green skin invasion finally. We've got quite a lot of money, which is fantastic. Um, but I am going to really get into this late game crises, we might do a bit more raiding, I really want to find some more uh, famed items, but I'm having a real tough time finding some. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, let's get this in, we've got the money, let's just buy the bounty board right here, right now. Done. Now we should see some more champions hopefully and get some more stuff. Worst comes to worst, if you make enough money, I am not against starting to buy fame stuff like the Armorsmith and Weaponsmith. It just depends on if it's worth it. If it is generally like objectively better, if it's a weapon that's objectively great, if it's in a Weaponsmith and it is worth the money, then I'll just screw it. I'll just buy it if I can afford it. Uh, also, I am going to quickly camp because we do have a little bit of a side story or a little bit of an extra character story bit for one of our characters who has been waiting to trust us for a while. So that'll be interesting. But first, I just want to check one thing in the camp. So, Mad Jack got the ability to breed Warhounds. Now, I'm not entirely sure where that is in here. I'm going to have to have a quick look because I assumed it might be in craft. But I don't think it is unless... Hang on. Okay, I just have to have a gander to figure out how it works. So I need to have both Warhounds not wearing uh, armor at the time, I don't believe. Can I even take the armor off, Fenrir? What, what do you mean, set item to be salvaged? What? The, what? I'm not salvaging a dog. Um, but you also need fresh meat as well. So the only way to make it work is if there's fresh meat, which we don't currently have. But we can get it from camping. Which I will do now, just so we get our little bit of backstory underway. And I'll do some hunting in the interim and see if it lets me do it. But if you can't unattach armor from the dogs, then I guess I'll just have to get a random northern warhound just for the sake of breeding. Bit weird, but okay. During camp, as the wankers take stock after another goblin cleanup contract, Sister, who has now been with the group for some time now and has been relatively quiet, asks for the group to gather round the recently lit campfire as she begins to speak. I think I'm ready to share my story, the pickpocket says, for man cannot trust in battle those they do not know. We fought together without trust for long enough. I was born the eighth son to a minor noble house in Thakar Jildur, destined to a life of service at courts and socializing with nobles. The such station had rule, expectations, regulations, and those had to be taught and learned, she continues. My father's standards were too high, too demanding. I wished to be three. I was jealous of my sisters. All they had to do was to marry a noble. I wanted to be like them, or be them, treated as a delicate flower, not to learn statecraft and war. Well, it's ironic in a way. I decided to explore those wishes, but when my father heard, he tried to hide me away in a locked section of our home, and when that didn't change me, he banished me from the house and the family name. So I became a beggar. But who would give handouts to a young person as I was, able-bodied and useful? I learned what I needed to survive from the other street rats, and soon I was a proficient pickpocket. But even those who were of the lower classes of our society would not accept me as I am. I had to get out. And that's where you come in. When you came through the city, I saw my ticket out. I hoped you would have me as your battle sister, and you did. In a way, I am more free fighting in deadly combat than I ever was as a noble. I have taken a name, a northern name. Please, call me Sister Laura from now on. She eyes the company, awaiting for a response, or possibly even some shock from her new brothers in arms. But the wankers aren't those sort of people. If you can fight in a line for glory and for your fellow wanker, then they don't care much for where you come from or who you were. Live life gloriously exactly as you want to, and don't let anyone stop you from being you. Well, I'm glad that you're now comfortable enough to finally feel part of the group. 
All right, well, since we're already here, let's start off with something nice and chill, and let's defend the outskirts of Orsbute for two grand. Now, there is another big contract here. I have opened it, so I know what it is. But I'm gonna... Let's do this contract, and then I'll open it, and then you'll, you'll see. And then we'll maybe decide on doing it or not, because it is... The contract is pretty standard for the green skin invasion, but the payout is... Wow. Just... Wow, I've never seen the payout so big. Anyway, let's wait for this raiding party. I'm sure they're not going to be that tough. Actually, have you guys got any tools? That would be very, very handy. Also, we didn't get any meat from that hunting. We just caught... We caught mushrooms. There's some meat there, though. So let's maybe see if that works on that one. Oh, you do have tools. Um, I don't know how many I need, but let's just go 50. God, I'm blowing for his money like nobody's business now. Uh, let's see if this works. Then. So if I go here... No, still nothing. Okay, maybe it does need to be uh, dogs that don't wear armor, but then you can't exactly just take the armor off the dog. If I just go here and be like, nope, it's it's like it's been stuck. It's stuck there for life now. Let me see if this works. Craft. Nope, still nothing. Unless it has to be a very specific type of meat. It's very, it's a little finicky. It's a little finicky. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Right. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's just get crafted and... How much do I need to repair? Oh, 29. Well, I've got extra. Isn't that nice? I never have extra. Let's get prepared whatever, for whatever's coming our way. Well, I assumed it was green skins, and here they are. Goblin... Only goblins as well. Only goblins, TM. Let's not talk about that. This should be, uh... Well, actually, let me, let me move some people around, and then we'll jump in. This'll do. This is fine. Ooh, 16 goblins. Oh, one ran away. Okay. I mean, see you later, I guess. What are you going to do about it? Okay. I did rename Sister, didn't I? Yes. So here we now have Sister Laura. There you go. I guess Laura's technically her title, even though it's not. But hey, whatever. Yeah, that wasn't ideal. This is the part where I should be shit-talking goblins like for this entire series, and now they're actually going to bite back a bit. Well, I say, I say bite back, but it's not really going to be biting back, is it? Shim is no, like, uh, champs, not that they're really champions either, but being able to find some of the, uh, fame boondocks would be helpful for Hildar, but... Is what it is, isn't it? Is what it is. Catch! Uh, shoot you. Oh, well, you, I guess, instead. Woof! Damn, that was 24%. I'll take it. I'll take it. God damn. Never rains, but it certainly pours when it comes to killing goblins. Alright, I'll shut up. Catch! God damn. God damn. Mm, not quite. Let's get you there, please. Uh, let's get you there. Tried to jump. Didn't quite make the cut. Don't worry about it. How far can you get? And I don't think you're going to need to do that. Every time. It never gets old. Alright, well that's what, six of them dead already? Yeah, I was never worried. Don't worry about it. Me, worried about fighting goblins with this group. Nah, mate. Well, they're still having a pop. They, they are. And uh, they're also doing that thing where they're just going to surround us. I also wonder if there's going to be one group or two. I assume... Two? But also... Uh, I don't know. There's only a one-score contract, I guess. You going straight over here. Okay, fine. They're ready to run at a moment's notice. God, you really like shooting Zygna, don't you? I guess it is a chance of 87, so I guess I can't really blame you for doing it. Huh. But I will kill you for it. I will kill you for it. God damn. You love to see it. You love to see it. Too far? Too far. Don't worry about it for now. How close do I have to get? <laughs> this is... Oh, man. This is great. I love it. I do love being Goblin Bane. It's a great time to be alive. Just not for them. A few Wolf Riders, hopefully, assumingly coming in now. There we go. Some actual action. Nice try, Broski. Not gonna work this time, though. Well, of all the people to lock down out of that group, that was probably the best person for it to lock down, so no worries there. Hold that thought. Oh, ha ha, very, very close. Jeez, Louise. 
Nice one, Hal. Good smacking. And sacking him off. Close enough. Keep bashing then. Fantastic. I love... Oh, that's rude. That's dirty. That is not on. Right, hang on, man. Time to hit him back tenfold. Yeah, nice try. The thought was there. The damage, unfortunately, was not there. He's fine. What's the damage? Pierce chest. Yeah, well. Oh, I'm going to try and not kill anything with you. You can kill the undead, and that's what we sort of agreed upon. Right, handled. Let's get you up there. Let's get you here and ready to rumble. I'm surprised he's not running, honestly. Nice one, Bayard. He gets his revenge. Just bring out Juke. Just bring out Juke. Oh, good boy. Great boy. Okay, what's left? Really? What's, what's, what's left, really? No, Ragnar is not a goblin, Hildor. That's better. I'm glad you learned your lesson just after one shot. One opportunity. I felt mean. Nah, no it didn't. That was pretty clean, other than this unfortunate shot. But other than that, nothing to worry about, really? Eh, nothing cool. I mean, I take that, but hey. I assume there's going to be another fight. I assume. Oh. Really? Oh, alright, screw it, I'll take it. Two grand for that, if you say so. How much uh, do I get for this? It's not quite worth it, is it? I'll wait until I go somewhere else. Let me just let me just regurgitate camping for a second, and then I'll show you this contract. It's wild. Okay, that's us practically back to normal. We've got a whole one tool left. I'll take it. So, are you, are you, are you ready, kids? It's for 14 grand. Well, actually, it's technically for 15 grand. And apparently Oberberg is getting sieged by the Greenskins. Oberberg's up here, isn't it? Yeah, it does look like it's on fire. Oh, no, that's a cloud. Is that a cloud? That's a cloud. I'm just going to ignore I said that. Um, But I can't really say no to 15 grand. Imagine imagine 38k. That's crazy. I'm doing it. Even if we... Touch wood, we don't lose anyone. But even if we did, it would be hella worth it, sorry to say. Losing one person for 15k is kind of, you know, that's life. Yeah, don't worry, I'm making ready for battle. Oh, well, are we? I didn't realize we were going with a company up there. Oh, that's even better then. There's loads of us. Oh, it looks like they, are, they, they might need require assistance. Guess I'll go help them. Also depends on what they're attacking. Oh my god, there's 50 of us in this battle. Get ready for some editing, folks. Okay, we're started. I feel like I accidentally brought in that group of 39 behind me as well. I say accidentally, it's not that bad. We've got one kill. Hilda accidentally shot the sword. I say accidentally. He shot an orc warrior in the head. And it lost half its health. So that's a thing. So we just need to keep up that same sort of power. This shouldn't be an issue, like, at all. It's just sort of us being here. We're just going to get a participation trophy. But for 14 grand. <laughs> Yeah, just give me a participation trophy. I'll take the 14 grand payout. 15 grand payout, really? Damn, man. Nah, I should have replaced you with someone else, Bayard. You are pretty banged up. Oh, well. It's cool. You're here now. I think we've got it. What the hell was that? This is a dance dance revolution. Okay, there is a behemoth on our side. As in, like, our side of the map, not on our side. That'd be weirder. But he's already wavering, so... I'm not really that concerned, really. We should actually be able to clear up pretty quickly as long as we start getting the rangers in, which we should. Can I not skip to the loo and go past here? Not quite. That's fine. All right, let's go take back Oberg then, I guess. I think we've got some slingers as well. I think our slingers currently taking a break for once. Start with me to go on. Uh, did you hit him in the head by any chance? I'm just curious. Yeah, you, you hit him in the head. Oh, no. No, you did. No, you did. All right. Good stuff. I like to see it. You love to see it. Can you shoot? Still can't really see anything. There's a lot going on, but I, I can't see the rest of the map, really. I'm just assuming that they're dealing with it. Maybe. 
Can I trust you guys to kill some goblins? I'm going to have to. Because I've been spawned in a really weird angle of the map, which is fine, but... God. What? Already? Man, your resolve sucks. For you. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Alright, Theodore, my man. Go walk down the behemoth. It sounds insane, but here we are. Also, the main, like, group, like, the army group, it seems to be going the wrong way. Hold it in, Snorri. You're okay. Well, you say that, but you seem to be running away. Like, fully running away. I don't know, there's still someone's... All these trees are... All these trees are aggravating. They're everywhere. Alright, this is a battle look. So there's a behemoth there. There's a lot of gobbos. Oh, it's off and off you go. Start making a difference, please. There's a lot of billhook people. Maybe that's why they're running, because they're trying to get behind shields, I guess? But... Or they can't... Their characters can't map around the trees. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Like, I can hear things fighting, but it's not quite anything, you know, crazy. Oh, oh damn it. Ah, right, I see. Oh, look at this guy. He's only a footman, but he looks pretty cool. Why aren't you dead, mate? Where are you guys going? I assume the art is pathfinding their way around, because it'd be kind of weird otherwise. The tree's in the way, isn't it? And it's making you miss. Oh my god, this map spawn is terrible. There's a tree there as well. Are you taking the piss? Heh, <laughs> spoilers. Not taking the piss. Great, so what do I do now? I can't see or hit anything. Oh, this is weird. There's a tree there as well. Procedural generated map, my ass. This is ridiculous. I mean, hey, good for you. You actually hit it. Ah, uh, a bit of blood. You're okay. Reassured? I'm not entirely sure what that is. Hmm, I'll have to check it out. So it's reassured. The presence of nearby peaceful people is increasing the... Oh! It's because of Theodore. Right. Ah, very cool. I like that. That's what that thing is. Okay, Ragnar. You know what to do. Go full ham. Uh... I only lost one thing so far. I think it was a hound, unfortunately, but hey. Acceptable losses, as they say. Wow! Johnny Big Balls over here. Alright, fine. Yeah, you do you get on with that. Have fun. Alright, that didn't work. This guy looks like he is having an awful day. An awful day. Ah, so this is what the rest of the fight looks like. Once again, all very confusing. Get him out of there, will you? Thank you. Oh, chance 53 rolled... Uh, chance 54 rolled 54. That was lucky. Decapitate? Well, you made him recover somehow. I mean, that's just one of our abilities, so that's not that's not on you. Don't worry. This guy's on a rampage. Rampage. Oh, God, he's... He's bleeding his last bleed. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Almost. God damn. Can you shoot anything yet from there? No. This one's in a really weird position. There we go. Well, of course I am. Well, there's the behemoth gone. Don't want to risk that shot per se. So let's hold on for a sec. Unfortunate miss, but don't worry about it. Right, we're all going to come around as a little contingent going up and then down. We might finally get around on this thing. You try as you might, buddy. It's not going to work. All right, Knight Rider. Oh, you you scared him away. Good stuff. Also, before I forget, I did use one of your perk points, Knight Rider, to give you the, fir fir yeah, the favored enemy of bandits slash brigands, just on the hope that it makes more brigand-like champion spawn. I hope that's okay. Also, you'll just become more powerful the more brigands we kill. And we do kill a lot of brigands, so it will work in tandem. Also, I have noticed that with the more, like, legendary versions of, like, the, uh, 
monsters and beasts and stuff, it seems that you have to get someone with a favored enemy perk for them to appear, like the red back spiders and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but it feels like it might be. Sayonara. Don't know why I expected. I really don't. He's lucky. Actually escaping? That's surprising. Who decided that? Nice. Well, regardless, it's whatever. I think we're good here. I think, I mean, I think we were always good here, but, you know. To be sure, just have to be sure. Whoopsie! Oh, well. Ah, Wayne doesn't care about friendly fire. He's just waking up the people on their side. At least you're not shooting us this time. That's fine. Well, I assume this is not the only part of this contract, because it'd be pretty crazy if we were getting paid 15,000 crowns for this fight, even with the help. Well, to be fair, I think only one of them escaped, so uh, lucky for that one goblin guy, but the rest of them got absolutely pummeled into the earth. Back to the... what's that? Eh. I was like, oh, what's this cool-looking, like, summon-inspired helmet that a goblin was wearing? Eh, it's not that good. Okay, cool. Well, we got stuff. Not good stuff, but we got stuff. And this is not over yet, so what? what's hanging about? Oh god, a group of 29. That's more like it. That's a group I've been I've been looking for. Whew. Okay, so interestingly, the, the army got to the other group before we did, which is actually probably for the best, because we've got this to deal with instead. Siege engines. Gonna be interesting. Some overseers of some skirmishes. There's no, um... Annoying Shaman, though, so that's good. No, not getting locked down, but there are a lot of warriors. Well, many Orc warriors, but we should be able to scare them off. Should be able to scare them off. Oh, it's a weird, twisted map. Okay, fine. Don't quite like how we've spawned. Not really. I'll handle it, I guess. As we always do. Well, they're really just jumping jumping on in here, which... You know what? Fine. Oh, hello. Who are you? Corgat. All right. Call that. Damn. I thought I was going to be a one-shot, one-kill moment. Okay, well, three of you are already dead. Do you really want to come and have a pop? Mm, nice try. Oh, I thought he was going to hit the guy behind him. It didn't quite, though. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it, our kids. Hmm. Maybe move back slightly. That wasn't ideal. Yeah, this is a weird angle. This is a weird angle. Don't worry. I'm, I'm getting used to it as we go. 17, 33. Hike! There you go. Right. Okay. Some of you guys hiding next to your uh, siege equipment, is it? That's cute. If it makes anyone feel any better, it does seem like there's a lot of goblins. So that might make up a lot of their contingent. God, yeah, look at them all up here. Oh, he... <laughs> he left. Alright. Fair enough. Have a nice day, I guess. He was like, oh, well, fuck this. Four people are already dead. It's like, they're really goblins, mate. Come on. Okay, can we hip shot any more of these bad mothers? Ooh, 50-50. I mean... Basically, almost, or basically just took him out and made it so... It, it was really hard for him to shoot anything. I mean, he'll still shoot, but not as well as he was doing. Good start. rat tat tat you're almost... No, not almost dead. I take that back. You're almost dead. Now, are you going to come down here, or have I got to come up there? I'm fine with either, but I'd rather you guys come down here. I don't know. You're running away. Nice try. Hal says no. That's what this guy's going to do, because he's in a really weird, precarious position. I get to shoot out for the time being. And don't miss stationary objects. Please don't. We ain't got time for that nonsense. Okay, so he's back up there. That's fine. There's still 26. I find it really weird that there's 26 of them still. Somewhere, allegedly. Are they just, are they just on this hill? Very different, very different. Okay, there's quite a few of them up here as well, right. Well, in that case, we might want to start working on that a bit. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. 
as they say. Right, better get to work and fast. Hell and fast. This is dangerous, Fluffed, but I trust, trust you being down there, buddy. Whew, damn, take that, Korga. But evidently, Warlords have more armor than Behemoths, because that would have gone straight through Behemoth like butter. Butter. Oh, running. A classic move by a goblin. Ow. Not <laughs> even missed. Okay, all right. Well, this is interesting. This is uh, not the fight I was expecting, but it's a fight that I'll take nonetheless. I do not like the way this uh, map has set us up at. But we'll manage, I guess. Go, Drake, off you go. Oh my god, there's still some... Well then. That might be about to happen. They were all just waiting in the wings. This entire time. I feel played, but helmet's ready. Let's go, then. Well, see you later. That's one and done. Thanks for killing your friend, mate. I'll take it. Well, it has an absolute... I see that as an absolute win. Nice one, Tozu. And Torfin will clean up. Nice. We deal with this big mama jammer, and it becomes much less of an issue. And he is one big mama jammer as well. His armor is on the way out, though, on the plus side. Whoa, what happened there? That was weird. Game? You okay? There you go. There you go. He's fine. He's fine. The game's fine. Oh, God. Were any of those close? Ah, oh, no. None of them were close. Pathetic. Okay, I get it. You're pushing around, Knight Rider. Whoa. Okay. That was a bit more rough around the edges than I was expecting. Right, we need to pile drive this group into the absolute ground in this next next move. We might have some problems. That's one of them, by the way. Oh no. That is what is known as danger. Oh boy, that's a lot of danger. If I can throw, you can't throw there. Oh my god, Elwin. There he is. Mr. Korgat Killer. Absolutely stone cold. Stone cold. Good job. Can he start running? No, you put ow. No, your place, buddy. It's basically the end of the line. You really can't hit much of that bow, can you? I'm having second thoughts about utilizing it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, hello. Oh, no. All right, battle brother. Save your master. You get there? This is a frigging mess. No. <laughs> Great. Can you get like there? Hell yeah. That's better. Right, that's another two bite with dust, fortunately. Get up there and prep for next turn. You need to reload, don't you? Get him next turn. It's the left side which I'm more worried about at this point. Mainly, this guy. I think he's going to get to go. And it might be bad. Lucky son of a bitch. That's what you are. Lucky. That was a 50-50 split. Got away with it this time. As for next time, wow, who can be sure? Who can be sure? Nice. Good cover. What else have we got? Show me what you've got. Well, alright. Fair enough. That's something. Running, right? 
doctor? Should be. Come on, Godric. Come on now, he's supposed to destroy all, all the evil that has been wrought onto this earth. Can't die to an orc warrior now, can you? Well, maybe. Maybe. Oh, good job. Nice one. Ooh, smacks him in the head. Great job. Thanks, bro. Really caught me off guard on... Oh, it's always the shields. Where are we at on this? Come on, bro. You gotta go down. You gotta die. Come on now. Just die. I'm not asking for much. He's practically dead. Practically. And now he is dead. All right. Next. Gotta say next. Like it's nothing. Huh. It's a shame. Ooh, Tozu. Hang in, buddy. Hang in there. You can do it. Mmm, you can't in that regard. Move, move back, move back. Worst things have happened? Hide in that bush. Can you kill any of them right here, right now? Nope. Oh wow, Tozu might die. Velasca might also die. Okay, not this time. Alright, they're running. Godric's gonna put the final slam. There goes your armor entirely. Can you get around and down? Not quite. You can't do either. The, I need to destroy it. To be fair, I need to destroy the catapult as well, now that I'm thinking about it. Man, what a fight. What a fight. If we play our cards right, I think everyone's walking away from this. But don't quote me on that, because anything can happen in the last part of this fight. Maximum effort. God, knight five miss. Woof, don't need that right now. Come on, seal the deal. Somebody seal the deal. Well, he's not getting away, is he? Can you, like, get here and throw? Not quite. Fair enough. Right, that's all she wrote there. Oof. Hey, Velasco. Getting the killing as well. Nice work. How are you doing? So you're bleeding twice to 20 and you're poisoned. Oh, that's rough. But you're not dead. And that's the important part. Right, they're gone. Finish that one off, please. And this one is not even wavering. Like, doesn't care if all its mates are dead, it's still just there. Okay, that's getting less and less cool now. Come on. Okay, it's now basically dead. Oh, ha, ha. no, don't bleed out. Do you have any ammo left? You've got a jab, you've got a throwing spear, but I don't think it'll work. Shut my mouth. Shut my mouth. What a throw. Alright, he wants to destroy the catapult. Get some real anger out on it. Is everyone even close enough to do it? I mean, you want to destroy the catapult in one hit, what can I say to that? Go with a sling? Wow, is that your first 100 roll? You missed the cat, you missed the stationary object. I won't say anything if you don't. Well, I think that's it. I think the rest of them have ran away. A few close calls here and there, but generally speaking, that was okay. Especially because that was an interesting spawn as well, to say the least. So, Barry leveled up, and Godric leveled up. I mean, he killed a Orc warrior and lost his shield. Maybe his God's Wrath after all. And Helmet leveled up as well. Good job, all. And uh, I see a lot of stuff I can sell. And uh, some strange meat that I can feed to the dogs, I guess? Just take everything. Are we done? Seriously? Okay, don't get me wrong. That's great. How is that worth 15k? I don't care. Whatever, job done. Look at this. That's amazing. 
Look at my crowns. My crowns are amazing. Let me go see if I can buy something. So after that massive contract, which, by the way, we're still on so much money, although I'm out of tools, so we'll see what happens there. Apparently, there's something that lives here. I mean, I don't see any champions here, but you never know what actually is here. Maybe I should stop listening to people at the tavern, but hey, you never know. Sometimes they say good stuff. So I'm going to smash into here. And then if this fails to give us anything, really, I think I'm just going to go out kind of strike out and go find some champions or just find some fame stuff it'd be really cool to go up north and find some light and um barbarian champions just because i think it'd be really aesthetically pleasing to get some fame gear which is based on raiders because you know it'd be quite fitting uh, but i guess we'll see let's go destroy this place first and then if all else fails let's go up here for a bit and see what we can find to sort of reel off the episode because like i say i'm going to keep it a bit shorter like last time just because my voice still isn't fully back yet let's go let's go oh it's another one of these weird terrain ones where there's a massive like crevasse between us and them well, unfortunately oh my god right can we get in a little bit closer no There we go, right. You're not the only people with missile superiority, you dicks. Well, Zygna, I'm a little bit worried about you all of a sudden. I guess that means we should get in there. Ay ah. Not good. Worried about Flufford, worried about Zygna. I'm worried about I'm worried about a few people. I'm worried about a few people. We just gotta get in. We just gotta get in there. Like, go now. Ride. Ride now. Wow. Jeez, how powerful are those things? We're getting battered. This isn't how it usually goes. Jesus Christ. Also, we came, we were, we were the people on the hill, not them. Saying that I guess their place was on a, wow. Just wow, game. You're really playing me. There better be something here for all the pain that my men are going through. We genuinely might lose someone. At this random fight. Don't lose anyone against a big fight, but this random fight? Oh yeah, we're losing loads. Also, can't really hit all that much. You're just gonna whip him into shape? You're gonna fire. Okay, fine. Oh, great. Ah, great. This is not going well. That's slightly better. 63, 71. Great stuff. Ah, God, right, okay. That's better. God, it's still so many of them up there. Right, go. Go, 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 go. We've got to go. Okay, gents. Hold on to your butts, everyone. Well, there goes another one. Yep. A little bit of a tickle. God, look at Zygna. He's... I've turned in Dawn Spawn, so he, he might stay alive for a bit longer, but I am pretty concerned about this fight. Hills, man. What are you going to do? Yee. Okay. I think it's okay. Hey, hit him over. I'll take it. Oh, I've kind of... Yeah, I just realized, I just realized what I did. That's just gone. That's <laughs> just gone to the ether. Alright, fair enough. I don't think we can even shoot anything anymore. No, we're going to have to get, really get in there. Ow! First damage it's got through to Caspian's armor in ages. Jesus Christ, what is this fight? I'm kind of in shock and disbelief. 
managed to do all the other fights, no problem, but this one's been an absolute pain in the dick. Oh, great. Right, well, we're kind of getting in. Kind of. Nice one. Good job, Barry. Right, you stay over there. Uh, Godric, come down here, please. That could be that. That could be bad, actually. We'll see. Eh, I believe in you mostly. God, at this point, I don't know. It's been pretty brutal. This has been brutal. Absolutely brutal. I can't believe it. These goblins are on like steroids. Uh, illegal move. They're doping. They're not. They're not allowed to do that. I don't think I can stop them, unfortunately. Okay, well, now or never. I guess. Now or never. Why is that one goblin giving me so much grief? No longer. No more. Nice Otozu. You two stay over there. We'll handle it. Allegedly. Oh, nice one, Alec. Here, good job. Okay. You are bleeding quite a bit. We are going to have to finish this fight next turn so you don't die. What, what was... What was this? Honestly, what have we walked into? That was worse than the 14k contract. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Bloody Nora. Don't give a goblin a hill. They'll literally turn it all around you. Well, technically I didn't give them a hill. The map gave them a hill. Bloody map. Turn it against me. How dare you. How dare you. Right, let's clear things up. There's only three of them left. Nobody died. Yet. I'm still going with nobody died. I think we're good, but... The amount of uh, recovery we're going to need from this is quite a lot. Okay, we're good. Jesus, we took loads of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight temp injuries for that. There's... Ah, oh, there's nothing. Oh, what's that? Oh, God. Cool. We took that many temp injuries for some forks. Okay, great job, everyone. Oh, wow, we're almost at full inventory as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to Oberg. Or a place that hasn't been raided recently and then... Oh, no, but I think they're okay again. And sell all my stuff and get fixed up a bit because, wow. I'm seeing a lot of red. Like, and not in a good way either. Okay, never did I think that we'd ever be on 40k so soon. But, man, look at that money. That is amazing. Okay, so I know I'd say I stopped listening to people at the tavern. But this one is legit, I swear. I think. But he does serve as the last resting place of a mystical piece of armor in the hills to the north. That sounds more like Famebound than the last one. So I'm going to go find it. In the, I'm assuming it's this. I assume it's the open mass grave, which doesn't sound uh, fun <laughs> by any means. But, I mean, it's fame stuff. I think I'm going to go for it. It's got to be this. Oh, I'm going to walk exactly north. And I can't imagine there's anything else around there. So it's got to be. It's also on a hill. Well, this is definitely the place. There's a person called Elpidus here. So this is going to be quite wild. Uh, we've run out of tools. Uh, so we have healed up as much as we can. Everyone in the background is a bit battered. So I guess we're going in as we are. I'm a little bit worried because there's a few ancient gladiators. I've never seen that before. Uh, what else is there? A priest and a hole in hunt. Okay. This could be very spicy. This fame stuff better be sick. All right, come on, then. Who are these guys? So there's an ancient gladiator there. What is that thing? Also, that's not a piece of armor. That's like a crazy scythe thing. I've I'm, I'm run out of my words. I, don't have my, I can't use my words today. Crazy scythe thing indeed. What the hell? All right, well, it should be interesting. There's no point in you preparing to bleed. They're, uh, they can't bleed. They're skeletons. I know that piercing should... But you'd feel like a crossbow bolt would do more damage to a to a skeleton than a regular arrow. I mean, I think I think they do. But, you know, let's see how this goes. 
I know there was an ancient priest somewhere. Okay, well, usually there's a contingent that protects the ancient priest. Yeah. Well, it's nice to have more men than them. That's nice. You want to get out of Miasma? Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Interesting. Oh, that's not good. That's better. Push it back. Whatever you can do with that thing. Just push it back. Uh, I mean, we're not really doing much with uh, range to this, are we? Not really. It's all right. Cough through the pain. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I don't think you're really getting a... Damn. A lot of night misses. Thanks, bro. Thanks for that. Back off, you silly bastard. Uh, oh god, I'm so worried about what the hell that thing is, honestly. You're gonna, like, lock it down? Right, switch. This is a game of just waiting to see what they do more than anything. This still can't be the armor, right? I mean, maybe it is. Or maybe. Maybe. Ow. What was that chance? 37%. Don't subscribe to that hitting properly. Jesus Christ. Okay. Got to kick it into overdrive now, because this could get bad. This could get really bad. What is with these low rolls hitting Fluffer? Jeez. Give him a break. There we go. That's a bit better. Also a bit better. Right, we need to do some serious smashing now. Oh, it's spawned a different... Oh, dear. Um, Go away. Oh, great. That is not what I needed. Not what I needed. 64. It's not much better. God, just <laughs> bump, bumping around a lot. Like, okay, I guess. Ooh, that's not doing as much damage, fortunately. He's break the shield. Not yet. Not yet. This could... Honestly, this could go either way. Ow. This is rough. And our armor's not how the, the level it should be, either. Not really. Okay, Caspian's not giving up. He's not He's not in the business of giving up. He never has. He never will. That's our Caspian. We've got some serious injuries already, and this ain't over. Good dodge. Bad dodge. Great throw. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Great destruction. Nice try. Don't worry about it. Keep it in. Good luck, Caleb. Come on now. Whoo, this is intense. Uh, bring him back, will you? There we go. Hold that thought. Risky. Oh, no. The risk did not pay off. Are you out of ammo? Oh, you're sluggish as well. Ooh. Rough. Not rough as in, because it's a dog. Haha. <laughs> Ow. Alright, I paid for that one. Oh, Reldus, buddy. Good job. Alakir's also pretty banged up. This is a hell of a fight. Right, that one goes. And now we've got Alpidus. Oh, nice one, Bertol. Good job. Now, can we start shooting... Well, you shot the thing next to it. I guess that's something. Mm, don't want to risk that. God damn it. He says his Alka gets shot. Whew, that's quite a bit of armor. Understandably. 
don't know what he's going to do, honestly. Hopefully stunlock him. That'd be cool. Fluff would stay out of it. You come around the back here. God damn. Ooh. Ooh, no. No, no, no. That's not good. Neither's that. What? That wasn't even showing up as him in the way. God damn. Stop shooting Alakir, seriously. Guys. Right, I mean, that's gonna kinda help, but not fully. Ah, oh, great. Has his time finally run out? Okay, he's stunned. Very good. He's not in the business of going down, though. Man, look at that. Amazing Snorri. Good job. Hound? You know what? I'm going for it. Morgrim. Go to go get to work. Do some job. Do some work. Right, you're stunned. Fine. Switch to those, please. Gonna make this thing... Never wish it's been born. Or reborn, I guess. Great. Aureldus getting the kill on the champion. The second champion of the series. I think he's the second champion of the series. Good job. Right. Everyone needs to stop shooting Alec here. It's very rude. Wow. Was that it? No. He's been struck down. Bloody hell, Caspian. You've got another permanent injury. This entire thing is ridiculous. I can't even move anyone now. Everyone's terrified. God, there has been some... Oh, damn it. Some fights today. Okay, well, we're kind of stuck like this in a never-ending loop of hor horrification. Thank you, Bayard. Right. What's the damage? He's missing his nose. Okay, well, you know what? This has been worse. Man, you're going to... We're going to have to seriously rebuild you. We're going to have to look for the guy that makes prosthetics, and he's got to make all the prosthetics of Caspian. Half the man he used to be, but he's still getting some. Of, he's still getting most of the kills. I say most of the kills, a lot. Well, nobody died, at least. Caspian lo somehow lost a nose through that armor, but he's still kicking. Oh, 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 nice. So, it was the, it was the weapon which was the Immemorial War Scythe, which, eh. I don't really use War Scythe, so we haven't got anyone who uses them yet, per se. But maybe we could look into it, because the weapon skill is not bad. It, it's okay. It's okay. But then we've got the On Ancient Double Layer Mail, which is 283. I imagine it's the top layer, which is actually the uh, famed piece of armor. So let's have a quick gander. Yeah, so that's the layer of 183 and minus 19. Oh, buddy, where are you? Where is he? Where is he? I can't even see him anymore. I'm blind. Oh, he's taking his helmet off. Kinda. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Missing hand. Missing nose. Traumatized. Yeah. That's fair. Hang on. How much is this? 170 and minus 26. Well, you know what? For the sake of losing your nose... There you go. There you go. You, you deserve it. God, 368. Bloody hell. Wait, was that better? So, hang on. Yeah, he gets four back. And he also gets, like, an extra 13. Now I need to figure out how to put this on. God. That's rough. Okay, so on the off chance I've made this work, I did decide to buy another Northern Hound at the place we just were. I'm going to see if it's now... Because last time it wouldn't let us just because... Um, I think it's because one of our Northern Hounds is wearing... Armor, which is a bit weird, but I think that's what's stopping us. If I put you there. Yeah. So here we go, dog breeder. Wolf and silver. Components required. I mean, they're, 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 they're not, that's not their names. It's actually... Well, what are they? Now? Who are the two Northern Warhounds who aren't wearing armor? So I just bought Quickpaw, and then we've also got Duke. So it's Duke and Quickpaw, really. But hey, whatever. Semantics. So if I click Craft... I need 
four meat. I need, well, I need three meat. Okay. Let's see what happens about crafting a dog. Answers on the postcards? All right. Okay, let's have a look. Apparently one has spawned. I don't... I don't see it. I'm... What? I'm kind of confused. So Duke is there. Is the dog just somewhere else? Well, the dog that was in the inventory is now gone. And the apparently crafting of the other dog, or spawning as you want to say it, is now... I'm very confused. I am extremely confused. It's just not here. The, the dog is gone. What? Okay, there's something a bit wrong with a Legends mod for that then. Because that hasn't worked. Caltemur's been raised to the ground. I mean, it looks okay to me. But seriously, the, the dog crafting thing didn't work, and if anything, it despawned the other dog. Okay, well, that's something I'm going to have to read into. Right then, out into the great white yonder, apparently, to see what's cracking out here. Hopefully, an, a certain event pops off, I assume. Wait, hang on, hang on. Let me just check my... Empty? Level 5. I assume it's not level 6. Also, let me have a quick look at this, actually. So, we don't really have anyone that uses... Well, I guess they count as, like, what? It's a pull arm, right? So it'd be someone who'd be using a pole arm. There's not many people who have pole arm mastery other than, like, helmets. Uh, Birds that's a cleaver, technically, not a pole arm. So, and that's a hammer, not a pole arm. We don't really have many people who have pole arm mastery. And I don't know if there's anyone on the list eventually who would use it. But obviously, I'm going to keep it. Um, although it's not exactly like ignore armor or armor damage. It did roll kind of badly. But hey, fame weapon is a fame weapon. Oh! And Sister Laura has gained one max fatigue. It is all worth it in the end. Right, come on, event. Pop off. I know you want to. We'll be walking around for about two, maybe three days, and still no dice yet. We meet all the requirements, so I'm not really sure where this wolf is popping out from, but it has not appeared as of yet. If I don't see it within another day, I'm probably just going to have to, like, go destroy something instead, because I can't just keep... How much, how much money? Man, we cost a thousand crowns a day now. Yeah, I can't just keep blasting a thousand crowns a day on the hope that an event appears, so... Let's hope that something appears instead in the interim. Come on now. Give me, like, something to go and destroy. We're, like, in the middle of the sticks now. There's gotta be something to break. Eh, I mean... Sure, why not? Why not? Whilst, whilst we're here, I mean, it's so far away from, uh... Everywhere that you'd hope there might be something here. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad, like, in the grand scheme of things, when you think about it. It's, well, it's seven, seven berserkers, which is not a small amount. But by the time they get to us, they should be pretty knackered and hopefully a little bit scared. Well, there goes his armor, I guess. And this also, once again, helps towards the late game crisis, even though I wasn't planning on making it so. But we're here now, so we're helping. We helping now. And Behemoth has got about the good resolve as a bloody berserker does, so... Good luck in that regard. Honestly, I'm just going to switch in turn now. Let's get ready. Anyone else ready to fire? Anyone else can fire? I don't think so. Well, that's one running. Almost out of here. Let's see what they do now. I assume some of them might charge. No, not quite charge. Get pretty damn close though, aren't they? Oh, he's gone. He was like, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling the berserk mood today. I'm just going to go. I'm going to bounce, people. Double tap. Oh, my God. That's so close. That's comically close. Damn, man. Well, now he's gone. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, they just seem to be weirdly running away. Are they running away? What are you doing? You silly billy. That one's going to bleed out, methinks. Oh, man, he is uh, still looking pretty fresh. Ooh, damn, Flufford. Also almost gone. Good job, pal. Good work. Slid that one through. All right, come on, Godric. Show him God's wrath. 
Right, armor gone. You're bleeding quite a bit, actually. That's a lot of blood. Damn, man. See you later. Can you get... You can't get around. Don't worry about it. Meh. His armor's gonna be gone pretty shortly. Right, we're, in, we're into his armor as well. Oh, good dodge. Good dodge, Snorri. Great work. Okay. To be fair, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Man, killing a berserker with a rock. Oh, bluffing, man. Great job. Amazing. I'm so impressed. Although, he's not going down. Okay, he's on his last legs. Flip it. Oh, man, that is a lot of blood. I think we've got to end this and end this fast, because otherwise he might lose all the blood in his body. And he probably needs that. I would assume. Hold that thought. Damn. Still not running. Woo! Every time. Oh, one came back, did he? Bayard! Nice. Help out Flufford there. Not running yet. Elwyn! Skewered. Absolutely skewered. Uh, how, much you, how much health are you losing? Three. I think you're just gonna live. I think you're just okay. Just about. Damn, man. Good job, Godric. Good little smash down there. Well, Hal leveled up. And Mad Jack leveled up. So now he's level six. So technically the thing should definitely happen. Okay, there's only Thurs here. Alright, well, I guess I'll just keep scarpering around for a bit. There's not really much else going on out here except just, you know, destroy the orcs. Uh, Flufford, you are sitting on a bench for a bit. You are looking pretty rough, buddy. I mean, none of us are looking funky fresh. We're all a bit... We're all a bit roughed up. And just as we destroyed that group, this is a task like none undertaken by the men in the company before, to fend off an entire invasion by some of the fiercest foes man have ever faced. A foe that could not be reasoned with, whose alien mind knows not mercy or compassion, but only war. TM. Orcs and goblins had united in a savage green tide that threatened to wash away the race of men under a pitiless sun at day and by the light of burning towns at night. The company campaigned against the green menace across the borderlands, rooting it out wherever it raised its ugly scarred head. Although, to be fair, we weren't doing it for fighting greenskins, we were doing it for the money, let's be honest. The payday, people. The payday. The men faced many a hard battle and many may a sacrifice. I don't know if anyone actually died during the greenskin invasion. I could be wrong, though. But it was all worth it. The wankers prevailed. After many a savage struggle, after uncounted days where each man's life seemed to hang on the roll of a die, literally, the green tide finally seemed to ebb. As orcs and goblins scatter back into the wild, you know that the world of man is saved. For now. Until it's our turn. Anyway. Done. Great. What's our renown? We have a dreaded fabled company. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Now, please give me my wolf as my payment. No? We're not We're not doing that? Okay. Well, this, sh this should be easy. Twelve or more enemies. We do that like... On a Sunday morning. Easy, like a Sunday morning. Okay, well, comically, while I was trying to find this uh, wolf event for our war, war, uh, warhound? For our houndmaster. The other way around. I've actually found the icy cave, so let's go and do it. Because you know what's here. You know what's here. I guess this kind of worked out. You discover a cave in the ice if it's more shielded by a gate of thick icicles. Looking through the icy bars, you find the cave quickly declines down a steep slope and toward what may be an underground riverbank that has long since frozen. Something is huddled beside it, hitting the ice of a pickaxe over and over again. The wind whistles as it grates against the teeth of the cave. You call out to the huddled man, but there is no response. It'll take some time to chop through this thick ice and get in there. Fortunately, one of the cell swords reports that there may be a rear entrance. It's blocked just as well, but a strong enough man just might be able to squeeze through and face any dangers within. Uh, yeah, you know what? Big, big Bertha boy is going to do some serious damage to uh, Mr. Ejirok in his skin. So here you go. Off you go, Ragnar. He heads off while you and the rest work on the front of the cave. You knock a few of your thick ice scores out, letting you see into the cave with a better eyes. Just as you do, Ragnar Noblebane comes tumbling down an adjacent slope and lands right in the middle of the cave and slides across the frozen river and rides up its embankments. He hops to his feet and dusts himself off with a childish grin. Classic barbarian. In a flash, the huddled man slams the pickaxe into the ice with unhinted power. 
and a shard splinter from one side of the embankment to the other. The clank of the metal and shattered ice reverberates as though lightning itself had struck. Now you can finally see the stranger. He is a barbarian shard in broken armor that rattles as he moves. The icy walls mirror his steps, scattering his presence all around the cave in transient sheens. Jittery and jutting, his walk is seemingly going backwards despite his advance, as though his shadow were his true self, and his flesh the afterimage. Despite being in a cave, his loud voice echoes on it all. I can't really do the loud voice because my voice really hurts, but... An interloper in my mist, a mere moment from the mist, these things I shall not miss. He approaches the cell sword like a cold spider unfurling from his trap door. You see that his face is half frozen, and a wry smile squeezes across the arc that should still be cold flesh. I long to leave this body, my dear fighter. Will you help guide me out into something higher? Oh, you can take him right now. I've, I've got no qualms with this. Go kill the Ejirok, but in human form. Okay, I know he's in, he's in here somewhere. It might be dark, but I can hear footsteps. Regardless, I still have ears, you know. I can hear you. There you are. Oh, good dodge. I don't like that he's got overwhelm. I do like this. Don't like that as much. I do. Oh my god. You got hit once. You just adrenaline twice and just killed him with three smacks. I mean, what else have I got to say other than jolly good show, old chap? Nice one. And then we got the War Cleaver of the North, which it didn't roll very well, to be honest. It rolled. It's effective against armor. Great. Is that it? Is that all it did? What else has it done? Did it roll on nothing else? Did, it, did the damage ignore change? I don't think it did. Okay, well, I'll take it. Ragnar cuts the madman down while he smashes him into the ground. His chest armor shatters and flies off his body, chunks of plates spinning and warbling into the air, and yet tethered together by some strange blue tendrils. Hmm, this sounds familiar. Your men finally break through the icy cavern's entrance and slide down the declination. Ragnar is quite alright, nodding smugly as he shoots his weapon. Just a crazy fuck, Captain. You crouch beside the body. Ice contorts half the flesh, twisting it, nubs it black. And what isn't frozen is flaked by strangely sparkling rhyme. Despite his grisly state, the madman died with a wild grin still on his face. The eyes are a bright blue, and you see yourself in their gaze, a faceless silhouette, and then a colour slowly slips away. Not like you've seen before, but as though someone were dragging a curtain through a window, slowly sucking all colour right into the sockets. The corpse grins at you. You refuse to believe that that is what you saw. One of the mercenaries picks up the madman's bizarre armour and holds it a length. What do you think of this is? The plate dangles from one another by some strange blue gelatin. Or gelatin gelatinous and the insides of the metal slats are coated in bubbling twirling blues as though it was the work of some celestial blacksmith it is cool to the touch and gives beneath the slightest push of your finger you've never seen or felt anything like it but the armor itself is currently in an unusable state you have the goop and armor put in the inventory scour the cave for more goods while there are none before you leave the cave you glance at the corpse one last time you think you saw it move again but surely it is the cold of the frozen north that is playing tricks on you Good job, Ragnar. You didn't die. As you depart the cave, a local northerner, covered in bear fur, stands across the company. He looks at you and the cave entrance. He asks, Do you speak the southern or native tongue? Keeping your guard, you confirm the former. He nods. What do you see in the cave? Do you see it? I mean, we probably speak both, to be honest. Let's be honest. You tell him you found nothing, only a madman. The stranger smirks. A madman. A madman, that is what you think you saw. It is within us all to speak warily of the unnatural, but not within us to recognize when nature herself takes a step back. Horrors are easier said than seen. That was no ordinary man, you fool. You're going to get stabbed. This is how you get stabbed. But the Ejirok, a transient spirit that shifts from one vessel to the other. No one really knows what it looks like. Mm. The whole world is simply a series of masks and will happily go from one to the other, usually taking the shape of animals. Sometimes a manif is so weak. It is a being of absolute malice that cannot be killed. No, it sees death, even its own as entertainment. It remembers those who escape it. It remembers those who wishes to play with. I pray you've a face worth forgetting. You put your hand on the pommel of your sword and tell him that whatever mysticism and myth-making he's got left, he can keep to him, Sen. You saw the madman in the cave, and that's all he was. A man. The stranger nods again and backs off. As you wish, and may you travel well. Travel while you send me. But obviously we know it is the case that it is some crazy. It wasn't a crazy fuck. It was indeed. Kind of a godly person, if you know what I'm talking about, if you've been watching some of the series on the other channel. But anyway, let me quickly check something. I just want to see if I realize that the music has stopped. 65 to 85. So 50% ignores armor, and it's... There you go. <laughs> Don't say I never gave you anything. 
I mean, it's not quite the uh, cleaver that you wanted, but I mean, I think it looks cooler. Let's be honest here. I, you know what? That thing didn't work, so... Oh, I'm going to keep you out for the thing. Right, I'm going to give it two minutes. I'm going to see if I can find this wolf. If I can't, I'm going to call it a day there. Yeah, I, I can't find it. I mean, I'll have another look at the start of the next episode, but for the time being, I think it's a pretty uh, apt way to end this episode in a place called the Frozen North. It's also a barbarian group, which we could probably kill at the start of the next episode just to you know, show them who we really are. On a plus side, we didn't lose anyone in this episode. We did take some permanent damage, unfortunately, in Caspian. He is effectively just our permanent damage holster at this point. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Don't worry, if we get to, if I find the tree, I'll give it to you first. Or if we find someone who, you know, creates prosthetics, when eventually we get there, we'll see. Maybe we'll build you something very nice, but at least you got some famed armor out of it. So let's call it there for today. Like I said, I don't want to make it too crazy. This might actually still be as long as every other episode, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Hopefully next episode, next week, I'll feel a lot better about recording with my voice so we can go back to our regular broadcasting. But let's get on with a roll call. So, Ragnar, you're on 155 kills, now killing a barbarian madman. Oreldus, you're on 110 kills. Godric, you're on 6 kills. Theodore, you're on 2 kills, but they're both weirder gangers, so don't worry about it. Alakir, you're on 14 kills. Hal, you're on 42 kills, and I need to figure out what perk you're on next. If you see this before I do it, let me know. Poor thing, you're on 37 kills. Knight Rider, you're on 59 kills. Snorri, you're on 28 kills. Krozak, you're on 136 kills. Sister Laura, also welcome to me, Sister Laura, you're on 18 kills. Elwyn, you're on 13 kills. Bayard, you're on 53 kills. Helmet, you're on 6 kills. Hilodart, you're on 144 kills. Wayne, you're on 121. Bertolt, you're on 89. Berry, you're on 43. Flufford, you're on 61. Madjax on 12. Caleb, you're on 18. Tozu, you're on 12. You're almost level 9 as well. Zygna, you're on 69. Nice. Alaska, you're on 48, and I did give you crippling strikes in the end, so fair enough. And Caspian, you're on 146. He's still not that far behind Ragnar, to be fair. And also, he just got a kill out of an area which no one else could have got a kill out. So, really? Really? You want to really pick straws? Anyway, next episode, hopefully we'll see this event appear at the start of the next episode. If not, I'm going to go fight these barbarians here. And we'll do a bit more raiding. And hopefully, well, I say hopefully we'll see more characters. Technically, people will have to die for that to happen. But, like I said, there's still like 16 people on the list. But until people start dropping like flies, we're not going to see them. So I'm very in two minds of, I hope nobody dies, but at the same time, I would like to see some other characters. But we'll see. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure it's more than ever you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you know next time that we are going out with the wankers in Battle Brothers. If you can't wait till then, feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below and also on the channel itself. Come talk to us, Jolly Northerners, in the meantime. If you'd like to support the North even further, feel free to buy us a cuppa on coffee. And it does give me the caffeine to get through my editing process. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the wankers.